day down on the farm standing here next to the food plot that we planted earlier in the year got our quail caretaker over there today's the big release day these birds are uh, coming up on 17 weeks old actually we've had them in captivity in the ground pen that we created earlier in the year if you've been following along earlier this summer They've been in captivity since they were five weeks old, but we've got them good and imprinted on our uh, on our plot now. Uh, as you can see, the the uh, food plot and the cover came along really well. Pretty thick, uh, looks really good, and we've got our brush piles spread out within that area. And then back here to this area, we've got our creek and which would be their water source uh, and. Uh, Got a nice pasture out there and some fence line up on the hill. So uh, we're hoping that these birds stick around this year. Uh, we're prepared to uh, provide for them this winter and hope that they stick around then. Uh, so we're going to uh, see how they've uh, grown here in a second and uh, we're going to open the ends of the pen and uh, see what happens. So as you can see, we've had to make some pen modifications. Because of the early season trips, we probably kept these birds a little bit longer in captivity than what we really initially thought, but that trip to Alaska takes some time, so. Uh, the caretaker here had to add some wire around the outside of the pen originally because we lost two birds early on because of the flexibility of this netting. It's probably something we'd change in our design and may change it when we do this again next year. Uh, and then because they've been in the pen so long, you can see that they've really matted down the, uh, the ground. Uh, there's still some growth in there, as you can see. Um, and still some of the, uh, of the grass is coming through, but they've really matted that down. So uh, the caretaker went ahead and put a cover over the top so that when it rains, they weren't getting uh, too muddy in the, uh, in the base of the pen. What we're in the process of doing is we're just taking up the, we're going to take up both ends. Uh, so we're going to wind up the, coil up the, uh, the mesh that we've used around the outside. And we're going to pull up the netting on either end of this. We expect that these birds are fairly well imprinted on this pin and we don't want to take it away and leave them nowhere to go uh, until they figure out the area, figure out where the water sources are and where the rest of the cover is, although as you can see, we're, we've got lots of cover around. So we're just going to open up the ends on this pen and uh, we'll see what they do. Birds have gotten pretty big. Well, they've all kind of wandered into the plot. You can hear them down in here. Can't see them for anything. We've got a got a couple of hangers on up in here, trying to get them free and 
and then get the netting up out of the way just so that they don't get tangled up if they come back in here. But these, uh, we got two females that are still goofing around in the in the pen. Everybody's calling to one another. Most of them stayed right here in the thick stuff, so that's what we wanted. Looks like uh, looks like they're pretty wild still. 